at advanced hydrogen, F-150 install part two, looking at 42 amps. Gonna check on the cell. Yeah, it's, it's hot. <laughs> I had it all the way up to like 55 amps, so right now it's, it's pretty hot. I'm not gonna lie to you, that sucker's hot. How hot it is, I don't really know. But uh, it's pretty hot. So this is the output at 42.2 amps. Uh, pretty warm cell. And that's kind of cool, I don't know. I like the way it circulates the water. But that's a big reservoir. That's a four inch tube. It's about, oh man, oh I don't know, 18 or 20 inches high. It's pretty high up. It goes from the, uh, this tab down here where my hand's at, you see my hand, all the way up. And then I've got the bubbler reservoir. And it's long. It goes all the way down, way down there. Almost, uh, it goes from the tips of my fingers all the way up to where my shirt's at. Right here, see it? So it's, it's very long, it's really long. So that gives me plenty of water reserved for this dry cell. I don't think we're gonna have any trouble with the water running out anytime soon. But uh, the amperage is slowly coming down, which is what I wanted it to do. I wanna run it for a while, see what it does. Right now it's down to 41 amps. I, yeah, now it's down to 40. I think it's probably gonna get to about 35, and then I'm gonna shut it off and then let it cool off and restart it and try everything all over again. When I first fired it up, the amperage was way too high. It was like 55 amps. Alrighty, bye.